well, that's better because now there's audio and also this. Wait for it. There's one. And there's two right over there. <laughs> but today we talk audio, specifically my whole setup, the Rode NTG2 and then the Zoom H6. I'm Kyle Kenrick and in this channel you'll find anything and everything filmmaking. Also, how do you guys like the new setup if you guys have been in this channel before? If you guys like it, let me know down below and also if you guys are new here, please like and subscribe this video if you guys enjoy it and want to see more content, that'd be great. And the links that will show up on one of these sides since it is a new setup, please follow me on those links and then we can get closer and grow this community out there. So let's start out with the Rode NTG2. It's a here where you don't see so that it looks more professional well i guess it doesn't look well that's just awkward to think about but to get right into it again uh rode ntg2 that's the mic i use now it is a tad bit expensive than most mics you can get a lot more cheaper mics i'm gonna have them down below for you just a few suggestions here and there if you're just gonna use it for film con like oh, not film content youtube content sorry about that but if uh, I bought this mic just because I'm a filmmaker and a YouTuber and I want to use something more professional and since Film Riot and a couple other channels and a couple other uh, short film slash docu slash like filmmakers in general buy this mic to do their films, I want to do the same just because it is a more professional mic. Now there are more available ones since this is a pretty old mic and there are a lot cheaper ones like I said but, but that's gonna be down below. But Let's get started with the stats of this microphone. So this is a super cardioid uh, microphone, which means that you won't hear anything on the side of it, on the back of it, only the one thing that it's pointing at. The closer it is to a person, the better. That way the audio sounds better, like when I'm over here, here, just as long as it's pointing to the face. And then also it has a selectable 80 hertz thingy where basically it takes down the hissing if you do have a lot of noise in the background luckily if you are in a controlled location like where i am it you don't hear it and if you if even if there is any there's programs to take those out of there it is also an xlr output input type of thing in the back so it's not gonna have a cord already some microphones like the rode micro already have a cord attached to it or it is a 3.5 uh, millimeter i think cord but this one is an XLR, obviously, because it is both phantom power and battery power. So if you ever want to use phantom power instead, instead of using a battery power and make it more reliable by using your recorder's phantom power, it works. And then when you purchase this mic, it comes with a little mount thing, and then it also comes with a little dead cat, but not a professional like dead cat. It's just a little sound muffler uh, for the tss and the pff, 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 sounds. It just makes them sound a lot more crisp. Sorry, my mouth for some reason was just itchy just then. <laughs> but that's pretty much it for this microphone due to the fact that it is a very simple, microphones are very simple. You just basically get what you get and it depends on the specs inside of it really or the quality of how they made it to be as good as it is. And Rode has been known to be very good at what they do. So yeah. Then again, there are a lot more companies right now coming out with like newer technology on microphones, so we'll see what happens in the future. But let's get to the recorder. The thing that actually most people don't get, but in the same time improves their audio so much more, and that is a Zoom H6. And the reason why I got the a more expensive one than the Zoom H1 or H4N um, is because Due to the fact that I'm all, I want a lot more versatility in my little kit, I want to eventually do podcasts and other projects, I wanted a lot more channels than just two. The Zoom H, I mean, yeah, the Zoom HN, oh my god, the Zoom H4N, sorry about that, I just spazzed out for some reason, uh, has phantom power as well, but only two channels in there. This one, on the other hand, has four. So if you're looking for something more YouTube content instead of filmmaking content or podcast content, I would go for the Zoom H4 and that's gonna be down below as well. And also, 
if you don't even need that, if you're just starting out, the Zoom H1 is honestly great too. I'll do a video on that soon, but let's go ahead and get started on the specs of the recorder. So it does record in two different formats, either WAV format or MP3, M MP3. Yeah, there we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm just passing out all day today. And then it records at the highest is uh, 90 kilohertz. And then it records in the highest with 90 kilohertz and also 24 bits. So that's the highest quality you can get. It also goes into 300. Um, it also goes into 320 kilobytes per second. It comes with two interchangeable mics, one just like a little regular microphone that most people get, or one that's like a, it's similar to the Zoom H1's uh, like microphone head, uh, but it's interchangeable, so you get two mics for that. So depending on what you wanna do, you get two microphones for one, for, ch uh, for channel inputs, tech and technically a fifth one actually, because you get a line in, so if you wanna use a, like for example, Rode Vid Micro or something similar to that, where it uses a three uh, three point five millimeter jack. It has that too, so you can have that. It has an output for headphones, an SD card slot. Its phantom power provides 12, 24, and forty eight volts for phantom power. Like I said before, you can plug it into wall if you'd like. It it just makes sure to use the right cord, or else it might over do something. I broke it once by doing that. Yeah, you have to use the right cord to do it. And all in all, it's powered by four AA batteries, which is pretty cheap if you have like rechargeable batteries, which honestly everybody should because batteries, you'll always need them like every day. And lastly, my favorite personal part about this is that it has four gain channels. So depending on which channel you use on the inputs for the XLR uh, inputs that they have, you can change the gain. So, so for example, for this setup with the Zoom H6 and the NTG2, I put it in a gain of eight just so that it has some hissing and it has some room uh, sound. And honestly, that fills up the space if I end up stuttering like most starting YouTubers like me. <laughs> But also what it does for it is that it makes my voice loud enough and I can always decrease that sound later on as long as there's a small amount of sound. And I have a program that does that and I could, I'll probably do a tutorial on that eventually but there are so many other ones right now. Freddie Wong has one in a Rocket Jump and then there's a couple other places that you could find how to decrease the sound in the back. But for the most part, I don't hear that with this whole setup at all. I used to hear it with my Zoom H1, but that was the first microphone thing I had. So technically, I upgraded pretty well. And it is a bit expensive, like I said before, but it is for future-proofing what I would like to do content-wise in the future with short films and with YouTube. So I won't have to ever replace these for like the next two years at most, really unless I end up doing it with some extra money. But that's it for my whole audio setup. And then basically I wanna bring it back to you guys and let me know what you guys think about this whole setup and if you guys would do something different depending on your content. I'd like to know about that type of stuff. Also, thanks for watching. I'm glad that you guys possibly watched this whole video and hopefully you guys liked it, hopefully it helped, hopefully the links down there help and all those links down there will actually be at no cost to you but also help out with the channel, with me creating content. So it's a win-win for both of us. Also if you end up liking this video, I said also so many times, just go ahead and like, subscribe and follow the links like I showed you this earlier in this video, they're also gonna be down below as well. And of course, dream on.